the most amazing thing, in my view, that ever happened to the human race was God came down as a man. The, the Father sent his son. Jesus didn't have to. He willingly came down as a completely weak, mortal man. God, no less God in the flesh, but fully man, um, gave himself up, dying on the cross for us, uh, going through all the temptations on the way there, all the struggles of life. You know, we oppress ourselves. I oppressed myself, but I got set free because of what Jesus did for me, because he came into the world to die for sinners. Paul the Apostle said about himself, I am chief, chief of sinners, I'm the king of sinners. And that's exactly where I came from. And at times I still, I don't, I know I'm, I'm saved, I know I belong to him. It's the most simple thing, but you know, Christ is the Lord. And to praise his name forever, he's worthy. His power and glory need to be proclaimed, but they're not just proclaimed by information or what we say, but by our deepest heart, our deepest desire. And they affect, for me, they affect exactly how I treat people and what I do, the decisions that I've made, the way I've spent myself, spent my life. The grace of God is that he imparts that holiness, that, that purity, that purification process into the life of everyone who desires and is willing to actually follow Jesus Christ. joy. 